energy electric wave filter in to complete to perfect hmm? the the to perfect the reason already reason energy electric wave filter by development hmm? so these are important but come to explain another Eleven factors to arouse energy. Hmm? Number one is reflecting on the fearfulness of hopeful states. When energy is becoming less, when meditating, you cannot concentrate on your meditation object. Then you should try. Please stop meditation. You should reflect for hopeful states. Fearfulness of fearfulness of hopeful states. Of that, that if I cannot control my mind in that or that, a whole of mass will take place. This a whole of mass will produce to be reborn in one of four hopeful states. You should reflect safaris in hell, <coughs> safaris in in uh, in beta world, safaris in animal kingdom. As far as you can, you should try to reflect this suffering. I want to explain once that hmm? we can see different types of animals. Usually many animals are killing to each other. They are devouring to each other. So from animals devour weak animals. So they are always trying Every day killing to other animals, especially insects and birds, you can see. Hmm? <coughs> so they are trying to kill others. These are a host of combats. Always they are accumulating these a host of combats every day. Because of this habitual karma, after that they will reborn in hell. When they <coughs> escape from the great hell, they will be reborn in small hair. When they escape from the small hair, they will reborn in beta wall. In beta wall, some beta, many hundred thousand years, they cannot eat anything. They are a lot suffering, a lot hungry. They want to eat, but they have no mouth sometimes. If they have mouth, then only just more. There is no suitable food for them to eat. So they are not suffering. When they escape from the beta wall, they will reborn in animal kingdom again. When they begin animal, they, they, they will try to kill others. Because of this, a whole song comes up that, that they will reborn again in hell. <laughs> they, just, they are suckering round and round. So because of this reason, it is not easy to escape from the four hopeful states. You should reflect these sufferings again. If I, if I cannot control my mind, <laughs> especially in time of death, these four hopeful states will be welcome to me. In this way, you should admonish to yourself. Okay? <laughs> 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 At the time, maybe the throat energy will be gone. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Will be gone. Yeah. So, because of this reason, reflecting on the four, reflecting the, reflecting on the fearfulness of the woeful states. This is one factor. Number two is seeing the benefits of effort. If you try hard, then there may be some benefits will arise. Such type of benefits you should try to reflect. Hmm? What are benefits? Yeah. Number three, reflect on the path to be walked. You must walk on the noble eightfold path. This path you must reflect. Among the noble eightfold path, one factor is the enlightenment factor of energy, Vriya, hmm? Sama Vayama. 
right effort without right effort no one can attain nibbana now you are working on the but leading to the nibbana if you are lazy then one panda is not present in you when you <coughs> practice noble evil but and then, then you will realize nibbana if you practice only seven noble path, can you attain nibbana? Impossible. It is necessary. Now it is many meditators, although they practice noble equal path, usually they are not noble equal path. Why? They do not practice sama samadhi. Sama samadhi is right concentration. What is right <coughs> concentration? <coughs> First jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana. This is the... This was mentioned in Mahasri Prana Sauda. This is Vijay Divaga, showing the middle concentration. There are three types of concentration. Access concentration, this is sensual concentration. First jhana, second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana. This is fine material concentration, this is middle. Immediate janas, they are also hmm? four immediate janas, they are last. So, sensual concentration, since we are concentration, prime material concentration, immediate concentration, they are three types. More three types, the middle one for that shows. Then we must take the first and the, 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 the beginning and the uh, last also. <coughs> so, this is Mijay Divaga. If they do not bring this concentration, how many noble baths will be? Only seven. Hmm? If they have another feather, hmm, you should please consider. What is Samadhi? Right understanding. <coughs> understanding of the noble truth of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Poor noble truth. This understanding is called right understanding or right view. Nowadays, many meditators say it is impossible to see ultimate mentality, ultimate meditating. It is not necessary. Without seeing ultimate mentality and meditating, you can practice vipassana. Vipassana is important. In this way, this is. So, right understanding is not present in them. So, how many? Concentration also, they do not practice. Why? Within Buddha's dispensation, Vipassana is the essence of Buddha's teaching. So, matter is not the essence of Buddha's teaching. So, they neglect Sama Samadhi. <coughs> and hey, it is impossible to discern ultimate mentality, mentality. Again, they neglect samadhi. How many? Dovalampa remain. Six of them. <laughs> 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 Again, now you are practicing diligently. And then uh, your effort is very less. The eight samawema right effort is upset again. How many? Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> so please consider Gaya Puri this. <laughs> so reflecting on the path to be walk. You must walk the noble eightfold path, not only seven, not only six, not only five. How many? Noble eightfold path. Mm. You, you must remember. Then honoring the, honoring the arms. This is also important, especially for Begus. Maybe for you, no much problem and things so. But for Begus, we, uh, we, we must depend on the lady bodies so that they may offer good food. So that they may offer bad quality food. All, whether this is good or bad, we must accept. We should not condemn them. When they offer delicious food, we should not have it. When they offer 
bad quality food, we should not condemn them. We should not be a habit. Whether it is good or good not, we must accept them. But in this case, honoring the arms means you should be restored to the arms. Huh? When they offer respectfully, you must pay attention to this. From the brightest, what is the connection between the enlightenment factor of energy and honoring the arms? There's some type of connection. Hmm? Many donors, many lay devotees, they offer this arms to the meditators. It's pretty three types of happiness. One happiness is sensual happiness. Some uh, devotees they may expect sensual happiness in future. Hmm? Future existence. Some may be expecting high material and immaterial happiness, hmm? your happiness. Hmm? This is also includes sensual happiness. Some may be expecting nibbana. So when they are uh, Expanding in this way, when they are expanding and donating this comes food to you, can you give them such type of three types of happiness? You should ask to yourself. Since you are happiness or human happiness, <coughs> deva happiness, and nirvana happiness. Three types of happiness. Can you give such three types of happiness? According to their expectation, you should ask to yourself. Why you must ask? No one wants to give three such three types of happiness. If some devotee offer some arms to the noble ones, when they wish for say, human happiness, this wholesome karma can produce to be reborn in human happiness. When they wish for to be reborn in Deva, what? this wholesome karma can produce to be reborn in Deva happiness. When they wish for Nibbana, for realization of Nibbana, this wholesome karma also can be the strong and powerful supporting cause for realization of Nibbana. How it can be this condition <coughs> of Harish can be the supporting cause <coughs> for realization of Nibbana. You may get up me, consider, huh? now you are meditating. Because of your previous karma, now you can meditate under the ability. You may say, oh, I give such and such amount of money. Why you can give? Because of your previous karma is supporting cause. Because of this reason, you can okay, you buy a lot of money. Because of this reason, you can give such and such hmm? price or charge. Hmm? <laughs> if you have, if you are very poor, is it possible? Not possible. So, for realization of nibbana, <coughs> such type of wholesome dharma is necessary. For as a bhikkhu. When he want to practice meditation in the forest, there should be a suitable dwelling place. This is necessary. If you have a lot of wholesome dharma, then there will be many devotees who are ready to offer such a ability. When he is meditating in the forest, enough food is necessary. Is it true? <laughs> but if he had a lot of wholesome dharma, there are many people who want to offer him ready. <coughs> so this is because of this force on Tama. So four requisites when you are meditating, four requisites are necessary. Because of this force on Tama, these four requisites are already. Because this karma creates these four requisites. But if there are no enough Four requisites. He cannot meditate thoroughly or happily. Why? One day enough 
Sunday they will be another day, no, another book. <laughs> so he did not meditate well. <laughs> then under the tree, also he can meditate, but when rain is coming, how he can meditate? When wet is gloomy, very cold, how can he meditate under the tree? So, suitable validate also necessary. Suitable clothes, suitable food, suitable medicine, they are necessary. But these whole sentiments will be some strong and powerful cause for his meditation practice. If he can meditate heavily other than only, he can realize Nirvana depending on his parami. So, whole sentiments are necessary. In the same way, now, Many devotees, they are offering food here. Why? They are expecting human happiness in future, or they want happiness in future, or nirvana happiness. So, when they are offering food to you, then you, can, you should ask to yourself, can you give such happiness to them? You should ask them. So, in there is one story. Maybe, a young major. He stayed in a one cave called Kaska Lena. Kandi Beda's cave. He is a delicate meditator. He practiced Samatha with Vasana Barali Abdul Sinkharu Baka Yana stage many times. But his insight is not yet mature. Because of this reason, he cannot attain any noble stage. But one day, but he, he possessed mundane sex power. One day he, he was ready to go to for arms round in one village, small village. In that village there is one lay woman devotee. She is very old, but she sucked this, no, she sucked this vehicle as if her own, her own son. He, he wear her own son. In this way, she is always sad, but she is very poor. One day, she was going to the forest to collect something hmm, from forest. And then day, she tell to her son, to her daughter, here, in that place, there is all rights. In that place, there is key. In that place, there is but uh, in that place there is <coughs> uh, ch In that place there is milk. Please mix together this. Yeah, when your brother, your major, comes for arms round at the day, <coughs> please offer him. I had me eating the whole rice yesterday evening cooked. So I already eat them. Then give them what will you eat? Her daughter asked. Oh, please prepare for me. Rice grew well. Mix together some vegetable leaves. I will eat only this. So at the time, Yamita Mahatira is ready to go to for Amstrad. Maybe according to Asian culture, on the way, in the Sudival place, there are small cottage. In that cottage, usually many Mahatiras take their rope. Hmm? Probably, like now, we are going for arms now. We probably, we probably have our rope in the systematic way. Hmm? In the same way, Mahatira is at the day. He is probably his rope for arms now, ready to go to village. In one cottage. At the day, he is in the rain. Sex power to buy Divine ear, ear, divine ear sack power. He is listening that old ladies talk to her daughter. When he hears this song, he thinks she already eat uh, whole rice eh? yesterday evening cooked. Eh? Oh, Jenny, this will be Let over. Eh? Let over. Uh, over. Uh, let over one. Now, this day that also she will eat only. Rice grow well, mixed together with its own leaves. For you, she is offering all rice, milk, ghee, and jaggery mixed together. 
she is not expecting in front of you any fee, any clothes, any money. She is expecting human happiness, your happiness, and even the happiness of that. Can you give such happiness? He asked to himself. A lot of spiritual urgency comes to him. You have now the final mistake. With the final mistake, such type of me you should not accept. Then quickly he go back to his uh, cave hmm? and then put his clothes on the hot rod. On somewhere the hot rod. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Hot rod. Maybe on the rock. Hmm? And then put his ball under his back. And then he do. As long as I cannot attain hardship, I will never give back from, from this. I will never get up from this seat. In this way, he do the cannot strong effort. And then he practice Sumatha Vipassana diligently. He, before now, he began that. <laughs> <laughs> so, honoring, um, this is honoring the um. end. <laughs> then, after that, he come up from the cave, and the when he is looking, looking up the sun. Oh, still early. And then one day one, who is stay near the his walking path tree. Then he pay respect to him and ask, Oh, Benarivesa, old woman, if they can offer you some type of meals, they will be very happy and. Many good fortunes will be, uh, will come to them. So please go for Amsterdam. So he take holes and primary rocks, he go to Belize huh? for Amsterdam. So honoring the arms is also necessary for bhikkhus or for meditators. If they condemn the offering, this is not good. Is it true? This is also one type of it also could produce strong energy. Hmm? Hmm. Another aspect is reflecting on the greatness of the heritage. Heritage. Greatness. What are the greatness of heritage? There are seven heritages. Number one, Sadra, confidence. Number two, Sila, virtue. Number three, Sutta, learning knowledge and correct knowledge both. Chaga, number, number four, Chaga, generosity. Number five, Penya, wisdom, Vipassana, insight. Hmm? Then number six, Shay, or conscience. Hmm? Conscience. <coughs> Number seven, fear of wrong doing. Altogether, seven. These seven are the properties of noble ones. These are the, you must try to gain this seven heritage. These are not small ones. Without effort, you cannot gain these seven heritage. Who has enough effort, they can gain such type of heritage. So in this way you must reflect. When you are reflecting in this way, then energy enlightenment feather will arise in you. This is one. Hmm? The another is reflecting on the greatness of the teacher. Especially in this case, teacher means Buddha. Hmm? Our Buddha's greatness, you must reflect. Hmm? How he great? Hmm? When he is, he was reborn as he in her, uh, from her, from his mother's womb. The whole uh, one thousand, ten thousand uni universe, oh, ten thousand world systems shake together, concrete. Hmm? When he began in like in one in the same way, shake ten thousand world cycles hmm? because of his great qualities. Hmm? 
when he began to, when he took Pranibana, after that also in the same way, this was in one cycle six. There are many occasions, such as when he is uh, expounding Dhammachaka Bodhana Sutta. At the end of that expounding <coughs> discourse, there are also ten thousand one shake because of his power is very great. So, the greatness of our teacher also you must reflect. He ending this onishim, he began this onishim program. Why? For us saying here, for Engal Guliva Eos, eh, hundred thousand Eos, he tried hard to fulfill the types of Paramis. Among the types of Parami, Maria, energy also one type. <laughs> he tried hard to accumulate these Paramis. He don't care anything. Only he took care of Onishin, knowledge. You are his disciple. Why you have lazy person? Why you have laziness? Eh? Why you are being lazy person? Such a lazy person cannot attain such eh? higher stage. In this way, you must reflect. Hmm? The another number seven is reflecting on the greatness of lineage. Your lineage is noble one's lineage, not worldly's lineage. You are trying to attain noble one's lineage. Every noble one, without understanding for noble truth, they cannot begin noble ones. To understand noble truth is for lazy person, it is impossible. Hmm? Lazy persons cannot penetrate for noble truth. Is it true? What are lazy persons? <laughs> <laughs> they are enjoying sexual pleasures. They have been when they see their father, their mother, their sons, their daughters, their wives, their husbands, their properties. They are very happy. They are lazy to meditate only. <laughs> <laughs> they have no much strong desire for meditation. Such persons cannot benefit from over truth. So, our lineage is always they are diligently practicing samatha vipassana day and night. Because of this reason, they attain nibbana, they realize nibbana. In this way, if you reflect, the energy enlightenment also will arise in you. Hmm? The another is reflecting on the greatness of companions in the holy life. In the holy life, there are Many noble ones such as Sadhabanas, Sagadagamis, Anagamis, and Arhas. They are trying hard too much. Without trying, they cannot become noble ones. So, in your environment, there are many no in the of Buddha, hmm? there are many noble ones. They are trying hard, giving up their human life. Renouncing their human life, human properties, human requisites, they renounce everything. They try hard for understanding, for noble truth only. So if you are lazy, then you cannot attain any good achievement. In this way, if you are reflecting, the energy of <coughs> enlightenment, the energy enlightenment will arise in you. Huh? Another is Avoiding lazy people <laughs> who are always enjoying sensual pleasures. Hmm? Such persons you should not associate. Hmm? The number ten is association with people who exact themselves. They are trying hard. You should associate with such people only. Hmm? The number eleven is the inclination towards the development of the enlightenment factor of energy. Hmm? You should have always inclination. Such inclination is necessary. Oh, I only really try, I only really try, I only really try. Eh? Such type of inclination is necessary. Eh? All together, there are 11 factors for arising of enlightenment factor. Then another factor is PT. Joy. Eh? When they are being joy enlightenment factor in you, you should try to understand there is joint enlightenment factor in me. When there are me no 
Join enlightenment panda in you. You should try to understand. There is no enlightenment. Join enlightenment panda in me. You should also try to understand how they are going to be the rising of a reason. Join enlightenment panda. You should also try to understand how the reason join enlightenment panda comes to perfect by development. So you should try to understand these four sentences. If you have joint enlightenment panda, you should try to understand this joint enlightenment panda, etc. <coughs> but there commentary all wise addition is very important. Wise addition in this case the preceding joint and succeeding joint. Preceding joint is the condition for succeeding joint. How? Oh. When you see have you ever friend? Who have been friend who is smiling? You will be also smile because his his joint is the condition for your joint going. In the same way, you should try frequent wise attention. Frequent wise attention means you should reflect to rouse this pity, this joint. How? Oh. When you can concentrate thoroughly on <coughs> your breath or your nemida, one day you may feel joy. Oh, when I practice, my concentration is very good. And the time joy is coming, I must try again. Take this joy. Eh? Frequently, what? Wise addition to that joy. Gain try. It's only if you try again, again, then you will gain such joy again. So this is important. Another is here, commentary is praying. Hmm? Reflection of the Buddha, number one. Reflection of the Dhamma, number two. Number three, reflection of Sangha. Sangha. The reflection of Buddha's quality, Dhamma's quality, Sangha's quality, this is also produced to rouse joint enlightenment pattern. This is also meditation. Because of this reason, when you are concentrated on your meditation objects such as Anabana, concentration is not developed, joy also not developed. You may have a lot of happiness. Other than please temporarily stop your meditation, and then please try recollection of Buddha's quality. As far as you can, you should recite Rahana Rahana Asra, hmm? or Sama Samudra, Sama Samudra, etc. When you are but you should first try to understand the meaning of Raha or the meaning of Samasambuddha, etc. Hmm? After understanding the meaning, then if you reflect Buddha's qualities again, again, then strong, powerful happiness may arise. This is also one. In the same way, if you reflect Sangha's, Dhamma's quality or Sangha's quality, so strong, powerful happiness may arise. Hmm? And then, then you can go back to your meditation, original meditation objects such as Anabana. Hmm? Nanda is number four is regulation of morality. This is also important. To arouse happiness, sometimes you should reflect your morality. There is one story in the name of Buddha. There is one Samanira. When he was five years old, other than he became Raha. Only five years. Why? This is very important. In the name of Padu Mudra, Mudra, 100,000 years ago, Padu Mudra, Mudra, Abhya. And then the human life span is 100,000 years. And then the Padu Mudra, Mudra, Abhya in this, in Abhya in this world. And then the, that, hmm? Pai Parisat Obzava, hmm? One Peku. That Vegu was other than he was very poor. He was a servant of a rich man. But he had no opportunity to do dana because he had no and he had no property. But he tried. He reflect one day. I should accumulate one type of host on Dhamma for my refuge for future existence. If there is no 
He already understands the four noble truths, and then he can contemplate these formations as an each other. Then he forget Arahat as a five years old only. Is it good? <laughs> Very good. This is what, because of previous parami, reflecting, reflecting his purification of Bhaju. This is very important. Hmm? Reflecting his morality. This is very important. But I want to say another. Within 100,000 years, wherever he was born, he was very beautiful. Okay? He was very rich man. He has very high class wisdom. Why? In previous life, in the end of Dumbodra Buddha's time, he accumulated some of the Vipassana, whole son Thomas. These Vipassana, whole son Thomas are very high class. Why? Now you may, you may please listen. No? Buddha gave the method to penetrate small particles, calabas. Not only did he gain give instruction yeah. how to analyze these kalabas, how to understand, how, to, how you should practice to understand ultimate truth, ultimate reality. Such type of wisdom is lower wisdom or high wisdom. Hmm? You should try to consider carefully. Nowadays, huh? except for that dispensation, no one can teach such type of Thomas. How many rubas, how many types of rubas are there? How many types of materialities are there? How you should try to practice to understand this materiality? Yes, no technique. Only in Buddha's dispensation is such type of teachings are present. In the same way, when they are uh, descending mentality, they practice according to this cognitive process. Their series never change. In each my moment, how many middle formations are present? In this my moment, how many middle formations are present? Systematically this, systematically understand. Now, in this world, there are many psychologists. Can they understand this way? Not easy. So, <laughs> such type of understanding is low understanding or high understanding. Very high understanding. The another is to be the origination. First causes produce present effect, present causes will produce future effect. Such type of radical knowledge also. Very low understanding knowledge or high understanding knowledge. So you can consider carefully. Then again he contemplates this formations as nature to another Abdul. The knowledge of equanimity was formations, Sankaru Patanya Nastis. Such type of knowledge are also very high powerful knowledge. So he had already accumulated these knowledges. Because of this reason, wherever he was born, his wisdom faculty is very high wisdom faculty. He clearly understood everything. His voice is very high, powerful voice. Wisdom is very high, powerful wisdom. So because of this reason, in every life, he was very beautiful, he was very rich, a lot of property. Eh? It is not necessary to search for property for many years. Because of his karma, produce this property ready. How it produced ready, he was born in very rich family. <laughs> it is not necessary to go to such for many requisites, many properties. Then his wisdom is very high. When he learn any education, he can quickly understand. No time, no, no much time. So because of this reason, nowadays many people are searching for to be beauty. Is it true? <laughs> Another is to be rich. Another is to be knowledge, eh? knowledge, knowledge, knowledge person. So, if the observing five precepts can produce these three types of results, then 
Should we move that or no? Okay, this is very important. <laughs> but my meaning is here. When he was five years old, at the day one listening, their parents undertaking five research. He can also reflect his morality again. At the day, the true powerful happiness appears. At the day, he can help. According to that Pekus instruction relating to noble truths, then he can quickly attain a hardship. Is it good? Mm. Yes, very good. Mm. Then, so, reflecting, reflecting, reflecting of morality, this is also important. It can produce pity and joy. Another is reflecting of generosity. <coughs> this reflection is especially referring towards hmm? towards sadha, confidence, sila, baju, jaga, generosity, sudha, learning knowledge, and direct knowledge, hmm? penya, wisdom, faculty. They want these five noble properties are very high. Because of this reason, when he is reflecting his generosity, I'm following the path to be reborn in Deva etc. In this way, if he is reflecting, then a lot of happiness will appear. This is one. Another is why they are offering here food, for example. They are one by one, they are offering enough food. Uh, delicious food. And then also, many donors, they have, they feel a lot of happiness. Again, when they are reflecting again this donation, again, again, they also feel a lot of happiness. Such happiness is necessary. So when many day, day there is no much pity, try. And then, then you should reflect your donations, previous donations also. It is also helpful to rouse pity. Hmm? Then another is reflecting of Dewas. Dewas brightest these five noble qualities. Hmm? Satan, Sila, Sudha, Jaga, Penya. So, because of these five noble qualities, they are reborn in Dewa world. In this way, if you reflect, then you may have a lot of confidence. And you should also, uh, I will also accumulate confidence, Sadha. I will accumulate sila pancho. Hmm? I will accumulate jaga generosity. I will accumulate sudha learning knowledge and direct knowledge. I will accumulate pinya wisdom faculty eh? insight knowledge. Because they are reborn in eh? Diwawa because of this noble Thomas. If I accumulate this noble Thomas, I will be also one day will reborn in eh? Diwawa. In this way, if you reflect then eh? this PD joint also will rise. Hmm? Then another is reflection of calmness. This is Ubasama no Sadi. <coughs> this Ubasama is especially the cessation of defilements. But in this case, the cessation, complete cessation of defilements rise from when one begin realize Nibbana unconditioned element. And then this cessation of defilements will arise. In this case, especially this regulation of Ubasama, huh? Ubasama, no city, regulation of calmness, hmm? especially can bring this by normal ones only. But put it in by imagination only, they can do. Normal ones, they can realize Nibbana. In the Nibbana, there is no Nama, no Ruba, no mentality, no materiality. If there is no mentality, then there will be also no defilements. So, because of this reason, Nibbana, peacefulness, calmness, state, reflect, uh, taking this Nibbana as object, one must meditate. Eden, Sanda, Eden, Panida, this is sublime, this is peaceful, this is sublime. This is peaceful, this is sublime, this will be much different. Mm -hmm. But Buddha Janak's waterlines, they can also reflect by imagination only, not direct perception. Mm -hmm. 
Dewas, animals, etc. Fearful object also sometimes appear. Because this object before, I say, for his decade, he never had been experienced. Now he experienced as a dying. <coughs> what are these beings? What are these beings? What are these beings? He did not accept well. And then the top is a beer. Because of this top, his the light dog was turned, slowly began to speak. So again he tried. I only not see these objects again. Okay. I only not pay attention to these objects again. Okay. And then in this way, when he pay attention, I only not pay attention to these different objects. When he pay attention in this way, because of not attention to these objects, then he not made that slow and obtuberness again. Because he do not pay attention to the objects. Then I will not pay attention. Then he stay quietly. At that time, slowly and Toba arise again. When slowly and Toba arise again, then he try hard to remove the slow and Toba again. But when he bright this again, slowly expanding his light up to Himalayan mountain. Hmm? At that time, very fearful objects uh, also appear. At that time, he afraid. Because they are fearful appearance. Because of this reason, he afraid. At that time, how he decide? Maya dita vya bagadiya alavya mananati. When I see him on the mountains with naked eye, I do not see these objects. But if I do not see them, Afraid will fear will not arise in me. Now I see this object. Fear arise. In this way, when he is thinking in this way, then his mind I try hard too much energy. Because of this reason my mind began floating. So he relaxed at that time. When he relaxed at that time, Kaya Dreta Kaya Dutunga. Because of this realization, kaya dharata, kaya dhutunga, kaya lasya ubatai, ubat udabadi. Bodily laziness at that time, Abhiya. That bodily laziness is called dhutunga. He translates this dhutunga as inertia. Then this is one. Hmm? Then another is, your question is, What is Adi Nejayi uh, explanation? Nanada Sinya Adi Nejayi Dada. Nanada Sinya Sinya Di Maya Ega Zadiya Rupa Manasi Grounda Da. Grounda Sa Vija Ubana. Nana Vida Rupa Manasi Kresa Midi Galina Diva Loga Bimuka. Galina Manosa Loga Bimuka. What did you want? Nana Vida Ni Rupa Ni Manasi Grounda. Nanada Sinya Udapadi. Nanada Sinya is actually referring means different perceptions. Different perceptions means according to Abhidhamma. Different color perception, different sound perception, different smell, different taste, different tangible objects, different perceptions. These are called Nanada Sinya. In this case, Nanada Sinya means sometimes he pay attention to what? Wow. He sees many different colors, different beings. So then he pay addition to human work. He see many different types of beings. Such is called the Nanda Sinya. His Sinya is changing. A teenage I did that means Masha Mayawi, Nana Widani Rubani, Manasi Grandasa. Nanda Sinya Uda Badi, Etawa Nitawa, Egan Jadiga Mio, Manasi Grace and Midi. That time Manasi Grando, a teenage I did that Rubana Uda Badi. What is the meaning? When I saw different objects, sometimes Kiwa objects, sometimes human objects, and different objects, if he, I pay attention in this way, then different types of perception appear in me. It is not good. I only see only one object. 
In whether it is good or not, whether it is desirable river or undesirable river. Only one type of beings I'm only trying to see. In this way, if he be a desire, only he emphasizes one. This is called Ati Nijayi Dada. Ati Nijayi Dada, how they translate? Excessive meditation of all forms. Hmm? Only one object he emphasizes, only one type of object. So, because of this reason, also his concentration is a little bit far down, like this this year. In the same way, when you are meditating anabana or not, hmm? at that time, if you emphasize too much, only one point, at that time, also mind is shaking, at that time, you should try that point a little bit bigger, it is better. When it is big, if you are mind is shaped, then you should try to reduce your point a little bit small, to become small. Some material small is better. For some materials a little bit bigger is better. So usually I ask many questions about materials. When the media is for some materials very big, other than they cannot concentrate for two or three seconds well. So then, other than we suggest, please, only one point, please pay attention. You should not grasp the whole new media. Only one point, please pay attention. Other than their concentration to look further. For, for some media, some many leaders, when point is very small, other than they must emphasize too much. This is called two nature media. It's just meditation, it's just paying attention to the object. At that time also, they are my a little bit shaking. Because of this reason, they know too much emphasis, only one point. A little bit big, a little bit only, a little bit big is better. Okay. Yeah. Another question. Huh? So that's the, uh, you have mentioned that in the fourth jhana, read the stuff. Will you please comment further on this? Okay, one, remain in the fourth jhana for one, two, three hours without breathing. Thus, breathing begin again in the Ruba jhana, Aruba jhana, Five jhana. Maybe you should try find yourself in this <laughs> Because of concentration power, concentrated power, you may consider Gaya Bodhi, Brahmas. Many ayos they are said like, they never breathe. Because of concentration, the power of concentration, very strong. In the same way, when they are staying in Pope Jana, at that time they do not breathe. But some meditators, if they frequently come out from full absorption and quickly go back full absorption, and then they may say, they may be set up breath, some meditators say, because their concentration is not continuous. Maybe for about half hour, okay, then a little bit drop, then quickly go back to full absorption again. At that time, they may think, the subtle breath is still. Somebody did does it. As soon as they come out from the jhana absorption, when they are reflecting, then they can see very subtle breath. Why? The reflecting man can produce the breath again. But jhana concentration cannot produce. But reflecting man can produce breath. But at the beginning stage, the breath is very, very subtle. So because of this reason, they may say subtle breath is there. But when they can maintain their concentration continuously, one hour, two hour, three hour, they will not breathe. But in, this is mentioned only in Port Jana. In our commentary, Pali text, Port Jana cannot produce breath. It is mentioned. But other channels they do not mention. But for those who are practicing in material channels? I also ask many questions. But 
Some lady did that said there are very subtle black mistakes. But you should try and find yourself in this point. <laughs> Okay. Now, mainly, many long questions. There are set. Bahana. Oh, find that some Bahana. Maybe according to my understanding, there are find that some sensation. Number one is Kaya Niroda. Kaya Niroda means all mentality immediately as long as they rise moment by moment. And then they pass away moment by moment. This is natural way. This is called Kaya Niroda. Another is Renga Niroda. The Renga Niroda is momentary cessation. Momentary cessation means all wholesome demands can remove a wholesome demands. When a wholesome demands are arising and passing away, and then a wholesome demands cannot arise. When a wholesome demands are arising and passing away, and then wholesome demands cannot arise. This is natural. So, because of this reason, all wholesome demands also can remove the violence temporarily. This is this rem this such type of cessation is called. Temporary cessation, momentary cessation. But especially in this case, when you are practicing samatha, before full absorption stage, there is excess concentration state. This excess concentration also can remove the finalness temporarily. This is also mon momentary cessation. When you are practicing vipassana, you contemplate formations as nature to another. After that, also that insight knowledge. Temporarily can remove the phenomena. This is also momentary cessation. Cannot be done. Another cessation is we come from the nirvana. We come from the nirvana is when you are entering into jhana. If you can maintain your full observance in one hour, then within one hour, this phenomena will never visit to your mind. If you can maintain your full observance in two hours, three hours, then within two hours, three hours, they will never they will never visit to your mind. Such type of <coughs> cessation is called Vikhavana Niroda. Then when you practice Vipassana, one day your Vipassana inside become with, will become mature. At the day, at the end of mature, no Vipassana inside. But in fruition, knowledge will arise. That part knowledge will realize Nibbana. With the assistance of Nibbana, that part knowledge will. That's why the final match completely without remainder, stage by stage. Such type of sensation is called <coughs> Samo Chita Niroda. Complete sensation. Mm. Another is Abdapa knowledge, protein knowledge arise. That protein knowledge also, that's why the final match more and more go to cool down. Then such type of cessation is called Padibhasti Niroda. Padibhasti Niroda means when you are, there's maybe Bani, uh, Bani Panya. When you pour out water, then it will be ceased. But if you touch, there are some charcoal. Charcoal is a state heat. But if you pour out two or three cups, then it will be done cool down. So, but knowledge just trying to find means it like when you are worried of fire sees this is one day. But there is still one next. Then again you pour out two or three cups, then it will become cool. Mm -hmm. So flat is again you are pour out two or three another cups. Fruition knowledge will just find to be more cool. The, they say they Explain in this way only. So this is five types of cessation. Okay? Maybe one more time. Yes, five types of cessation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, today let us stop here. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
I have many questions tomorrow. <laughs> we will really going to be finished on that. I don't know. Sharing that. Idhami Bhumya. Idhami Bhumya. Asavakya. Asavakya. Mahahodu. Mahahodu. Idhami Bhumya. Idhami Bhumya. Nibhanasa. Nibhanasa. Pachyo. Pachyo. Odu. Odu. Idhami Bhumya. Idhami Bhumya. Sabhasadana. Sabhasadana. Pajima. Pajima. Disabhe. Disabhe. Misama. Misama. Punya baga, punya baga, nabandu, nabandu, sadu, sadu, sadu.